Okay, boys and girls, this is Module 4, Lesson 1. Identify and draw points, lines, line segments, rays, and angles, and recognize them in various contexts and familiar figures. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw, identify, and label points, a line segment, and a line. So let's just start by a point. Okay, what you would simply do is put an X or a dot on your paper, and there's a point, okay? Um, we've all seen that before, and it just gives us a spot of a specific location, okay? Um, what I'd like you to do is draw another one, okay? We're going to label A and B. You're going to notice in geometry we do a lot of labeling, okay? And we typically use letters to label. Okay? The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a straight edge and we are going to connect A and B. Okay? A ruler will work. Anything that's got a straight edge. Okay, we're going to connect them. Okay. We have now connected are two points. Okay. Um, notice that there are end points. Okay, this is a line segment. A line segment has two end points. And this is line segment AB. And this is how we would write that. Notice our symbol has two points at the end because this does not extend forever. This is part of a line. We could also call it line segment BA. The order in this case does not matter. Okay? Now, we're going to draw another point, and it's not going to be located on this line. Okay, we're going to call, put it right here, and that will be point C. Okay, we're going to use our straight edge, and we're going to draw... A line that connects A and C. Okay, so now you can see we have A and C. Now we're going to draw arrows. Okay, that means that this line extends forever in both directions. So this is a line, this is a line segment. We could call this line A, C. Notice the symbols are different. Or we could call it C, A. In this particular case, the order doesn't matter. Okay? We are going to draw another point. Okay, and this point is not going to be on either AC or AB. going to be point D. I need to use my straight edge to connect. Notice there's only an arrow on one end. This only extends in one direction. This is called a ray. Again, the symbol is going to look very much like what I drew. It's going to have one end point, extends only in one direction. We can call this DB or BD. Okay? So, boys and girls, we have drawn a point, which just marks a particular location. 
We've drawn a line segment, which is part of a line. We've drawn a line, and we know this is a line because it extends in both directions. We've also drawn a ray. An array is one point and extends in only one direction. Okay, let's move on. To problem two. Okay. All right. We've actually did all of this on the first problem, so we are just going to move on to familiar figures. Okay. We're going to look at a familiar figure. Okay. So what I would like you to do is just watch. I am going to sketch a rectangle. We know a rectangle. has the opposite sides are of equal length. Notice how I'm always using a straight edge to draw my lines. You need to do that as well as we go through this unit. Like I said, you can use the binding of a book works well. If you happen to have a ruler, that would work really well. Okay, so we have a rectangle. Okay. You should see four line segments, four points where the line segments meet, and you should see four angles. Okay, let's, I'm going to go ahead and label. So those are our line segments. And again, we could name them in many different ways. A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D, or B, A. And we could, we could go either way. Remember the letters, the order of the letters in this case does not matter. Okay, you're going to notice that there's four line segments in a rectangle. There's four in a square. There's four in a rhombus. Okay. Okay, each of these segments is part of a larger ray, but we don't have to draw them to imagine that they're there. Okay, now let's take a look at our angles, and I'll show you how to correctly label an angle. Okay. There's an angle right here, right here, and these are right angles. That's why they get the little square. Okay, these are all four right angles. This angle right here is angle A, B, C, or C, B, A. Where the line segments meet is always the middle letter. So there's your angle symbol. We have A, B, C, or you could call it angle C, B, A. But the letter B has to be in the middle because this is the angle right here. If we go ahead and name another angle right here, we could name this one angle B, C, D, or angle, you guessed it, D, C, B. Okay, let's go ahead and name this angle. Remember, the D has to be in the middle, so it's A, D, C is a one possibility for angle C, D, A. Let's look at the last one. Okay, there's the, where the two lines meet, two line segments meet. That has to be in the middle, so it's B, A, D, or angle D, A, B. Okay, so that's how we name angles. Not too difficult. You just have to remember that where they 
they meet, that letter has to be in the middle. Okay, let's take a moment and review some of the vocabulary. Okay, a point, it marks a specific location. We don't know the, and there's no size of the location, it's just a point. A ray has one end point, extends only in one direction. A line extends in both directions and has arrows to show you. A line segment has two end points and it's only part of a line because if you watch a segment of a movie or a TV show, you're only watching part of it. So a line segment is part of it. And you can either say line segment or just segment. Okay, an angle to where two rays that share an end point. Okay, so there's the end point, there's our two rays. And a figure is another word for shape.